Hi everyone, I'm sports producer Troy Gingrich. I'm out of the Mud Hens doubleheader on this Friday night. I wanted to catch you up on some of the top stories that you might have missed this week in WTOL 11 Sports. Our top story was from today as we found out that Grace Van Sluten will be transferring from Notre Dame Academy to IMG Academy in Florida for her final year of high school. She helped lead the Eagles to three straight trips to the state final four. She's currently ranked as the 16th best girls basketball player in the country for the class of 2022, and she will go down as one of the best basketball players to ever come through Northwest Ohio. The other big story from the week was the Toledo Mud Hens officially kicking off their season after 610 days away. They held opening day inside Fifth Third Field and capped it off with a win over the Nashville Sounds. What a sight it was to finally see fans in the stands to see some baseball, even if it was in a limited capacity. From the hot dogs to the popcorn, just to the crack of the bat, it's great to have baseball back in the glass city. Also, we're a week removed from the NFL draft, and one of the players that heard his name called was Whitmer grad Phil Hoskins. He was taken in the seventh round by the Carolina Panthers, and he's just grateful to get the opportunity. He's had quite the journey to get to this point, from playing in Juco to a multitude of injuries, but the former Whitmer standout will get his chance to live out a lifelong dream of playing in the NFL. Lastly, this is really cool. Danny Schmitz was the head coach for BGSU Baseball for 30 years, but now he's coaching the Dodgers. But not those Dodgers. This is of the T-ball variety. His daughter is the coach, and she recruited him for some help, and he's loving every minute of it. He gets to spend time with not only his daughter, but gets to coach up his granddaughters as well. Baseball is in his blood, and he's just happy to share what has been such a big part of his life to others. He said he sleeps pretty good at night after chasing around the kids, but loves to see the smiles on their faces after games and practices. So those were just a few of the top stories that we had all this week. If you'd like to see more of the full story, I'll link it down in the description below. But for now, I'm going to go catch some mud hens. Thanks for watching.